Dear students, uh, we are going to talk about Schumpeter's uh, theory, Schumpeter's theory of development, popularly called as innovation theory. Schumpeter was an uh, eminent economist of the 20th century and uh, his uh, important contribution to economics is about the innovation theory. His theory deals with, uh, when we discuss about his theory, his theory deals with three main important process. The first one is the circular flow of income. The second one is uh, the innovation. And the third one, the business cycle or the crisis. He explains the economic development in these three stages. Now we will see the, uh, the first uh, process, namely the circular flow of income, in which Schumpeter assumes that there exists a perfectly competitive economy in a stationary state. As you know that a stationary state is one in which there is no profit, no interest, no investment, no savings or no involuntary unemployment. In this situation, the circular flow of income kept on circulating within the economy. Okay? And there is no net addition takes place to the uh, national income. So it, every year it continues to repeat year after year. And uh, I provided a chart to explain this uh, concept, the circular flow of income. Money goes from, from the firm side to household side for the service provided by the households. In the second round, what happens is these households need goods and services. These goods and services are supplied by the firms to the households. So the arrow mark shows us that from goods and services are supplied from the firms to the households. Right? For, for providing these goods and services, payment is made again from the household to the firms. Now, uh, if you put it in uh, monetary terms, for example, if uh, 100 crores worth of goods are produced, what happens is 100 crores worth of um, factor payments. So as I said, uh, the firms uh, supply uh, goods and services to the households and for which they receive payments. So when we um, give uh, a monetary terms for this, suppose 100 crores is kept on rotating between the households and the firms. So every year this continues to repeat a uh, year after year. This we uh, Schumpeter calls it as a stationary state in a circular flow of income. So here what happens is the economy reaches an optimum level and there is no much wastage in it and the same thing happens. So this stationary state has to be broken down and development has to be started. To break this uh, stationary state and to push the economy forward, Schumpeter uh, says uh, the next uh, heading that innovation. So what is innovation? Innovation is in simple terms you can say that to do um, something uh, in a new way. Uh, there is an another concept called invention is there. Invention is some, uh, you create something new. Innovation is you find a better way or another way of uh, putting a new use for a same product. Right? So that is innovation. So what Schumpeter says is you have to innovate something within the economy and this innovation can lead as the economy forward. To put it in another words, that innovation should take place within the economic system. And he says that, that there should be changes taking place inside the economic system. What type of changes that should take place in the economic system is there should be a technological change, a sociological change, a psychological and a political change should take place. When changes in these four factors takes place within the economic system and this may lead to innovational activities. 
when we say innovation is taking place in the economy, innovation may take place in different forms. According to Schumpeter, it is introduction of a new product and upgrading the already existing ones leads to economic development. In this process of introduction of new product and upgrading the existing one, the role of innovator becomes more important. So who is an uh, um, innovator? or what is his uh, important role? He is a person who actually uh, starts this uh, development because uh, development as such doesn't start automatically. It has to be pushed or it has to be started by individuals. These individuals are called as innovators or entrepreneurs. And to, to say more about these uh, innovators or entrepreneurs, these entrepreneurs are men with vision or imagination or these people know to foresee the future things or what will happen in the future, what is the need for the people in the future. So these uh, innovators or entrepreneurs foresee things and produce goods and services which is needed for the society. So, what happens is these innovators constantly upgrade these existing one or introduce new products and by the introduction of new products by investing in this production of new goods and services our economic development takes place. Circular flow in a stationary state is broken by innovations. Innovations in the form of uh, new inventions and creating some in, uh, inventions and uh, some new products. Normally what happens is investment in an innovation is risky because that is the first time they are, we are going to invest in producing a new product. But what happens is this is risky and if it is successful others will follow suit because other uh, producers will also produce these goods and services right and if it is not successful one others will not follow suit and uh, the investor will be in trouble investor is successful one others will follow suit then what happens is the trilogy of invention innovation and diffusion takes place in the economy and first products are invented and products are innovated and that gets spreads into the economy. It is widely believed that this diffusion is not 100 percent. There is invention takes place, innovation takes place and diffusion that is not 100 percent. Next we will see the business cycle or crisis. Entrepreneurship is basically a spark in the process of economic development. Schumpeter assumes that in initially there exists a, a perfectly competitive economy in a stationary state. And in this state he says there are opportunities exist for producing a new product or innovating a new product and entrepreneurs visualize this opportunity and use this opportunity to produce goods and services. So initially they start producing goods and services using this opportunity and they go in for investment by taking loan from the bank and they go in for investment. Once the entrepreneur starts investing money and this spreads into the economic system. The money goes into the economic system in the form of uh, wages, interest, profits, etc, uh, etc. Et okay? So this money goes into the system so the economic activity starts moving up. So that is what we say premiates uh, in the economy. So once this money premiates in the economy, the demand for goods and services increases and it influences additional demand for the existing goods and services influencing further invention and innovations in the process. Gradually the innovation is completed. Once the innovation is completed, there exist a two sets of uh, industries. One the old industries and another one a new industries in which what happens is uh, creative destruction takes place. That means old industries 
is getting destroyed and new industries is being constructed. In this process, what happens is the old industries shrunk to a certain extent, certain old industries vanishes from the market, certain old industries uh, reaches a minimum level and new industries can compete easily with the old industry because they produce new goods and they can also produce at a lower cost. In the next stage what happens is the bank loans are repaid from the profits of these companies. Once they start repaying these bank loans, they have to cut down some of these investments. Once they start repaying these loans, they have to cut down these investments or further spending. This actually starts or the beginning of the crisis. Once they start reducing this investment, on the other hand, any drop in this investment is not offset by any other new innovation or any other investment because, uh, because of uh, this um, old industries shrinking and new industries stopping their investment for any further investment that, uh, the innovators cannot calculate the cost and revenue. Since they cannot calculate the cost and revenue properly for future investments, the future investments is not offset. So this further dampens or reduces, uh, what do you say, uh, reduces uh, the uh, downturn in the economic process. This pushes the economy down. At the same time, according to Schumpeter, there are situations exist in which new investment can come in through an innovational activity. So once an another innovator comes in, once an another innovation takes place, new investment can be made. As we see in the chart, uh, that at the lowest ebb of economic activity, what happens is another innovator comes into the picture, innovation takes place and the economy get revives from the beginning and again it goes back to square one or it equates. This process of economic development comes to an end uh, with the, uh, there are certain features, with the process comes to an end. He says, whenever there is a decadence of entrepreneurial function, when the entrepreneurial function getting decayed, what he says is that the economy automatically goes down slowly. Okay? And the second one, uh, the disintegration of the bourgeoisie family. Bourgeoisie family means the middle class family. So when this middle class family getting disintegrated, okay, uh, what uh, Schumpeter says is the economy also getting, uh, having a downturn. And the third one, the institutional structures of the capitalist society. According to him, when, there is, when the institutional structures of capitalist society is, uh, is not in place or is getting disturbed or it is destroyed, then what happens is uh, the economy goes down. Though his theory um, is wonderful, okay? his theory was criticized uh, by some people on these grounds. He um, says that, they say that, that uh, Schumpeter give much importance to innovators and he says that innovators is an ideal person. That is not so. Okay. And second criticism is that all cyclical fluctuations are because of innovations. And critics says that it is not so. Cyclical fluctuations are maybe due to technological, sociological, psychological etc. Okay. So uh, the cyclical fluctuations is not due to innovations and the third one is Schumpeter uh, gives much importance to the bank credit but of late bank alone doesn't give credit and for a long term credit bank uh, and uh, for a large sum of money and for a long term we can go in for stock markets 
and uh, for, for Schumpeter he gives much importance to bank credit. To summarize his whole theory in a few uh, lines, we can say that the circular flow of income uh, in a stationary state and he wants us to break this stationary state through innovative activities. So innovation may be in different forms, we have seen it. So innovation may be creating a new market, creating a new product, creating a new process of production like this. Okay. These innovations are created by entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are persons who have imagination or vision who can predict the future or the future markets, the future demand. And in the crisis or in the business cycle, what happens is initially when the entrepreneurs go in for production, there is a swarm like activities as I said. So many entrepreneurs follow an innovator and the economy moves up. But over a period of time, what happens? The creative destruction takes place. That means old industries are destroyed and new industries are being created. And for an active economic development or for a faster economic development, this creative destruction should be properly and it properly made. If this is being made by innovators, then the economy can go faster and faster. But there are instances or circumstances which prevents the innovators from innovating. And uh, uh, if once the innovator stops innovating, what happens is the economy slows down and lead to a recession. And once at a lower end, what happens is, according to Schumpeter, even in this stage, there are chances or there are opportunities to innovate. And once innovation takes place again, again the economy moves up. 